in this final lesson of the series, I'm going to define several keyboard shortcuts related to working with multiple splits. Basically, VS Code allows us to work with several files simultaneously on the same tab. And to be able to create vertical split, I'm going to use space WV shortcut. To create horizontal split, I'm going to use space WH. In the first case, WV stands for window vertical and WH stands for window horizontal. Then if we already have several splits created, in order to combine some of them, I'm going to use space WW shortcut. And eventually to reset sizes of all splits, I'm going to use space WA shortcut. And as for navigation between several splits, I have separately defined keyboard shortcuts directly in keybindings.json VS Code file. And in here to navigate to the left split, I have to press Ctrl J. To navigate to the bottom split, I will press Ctrl K. To navigate to the right split, I will press Ctrl semicolon. And finally, to navigate to upper split, I'm gonna have to press Ctrl L. And now let's take a look at the example. So for example, I need to split this working area on few splits and create one to the right. And to do so, I'm gonna press space W V, which stands for window vertical. As you can see, the split was created. And now if I need to create one split at the bottom, I'm gonna press space W H, which stands for window horizontal. And of course, we can open up different files in each of those splits. So now if let's say I want to remove some splits, for example, combine my current one with the next one, I'm going to press space WW. And it is going to combine my current active split where the cursor is positioned at with the next one. And in the same way, I can keep pressing this shortcut space WW to eventually get only one split. And finally, the last shortcut that we have defined and we haven't tried yet is to reset the widths and heights of each split back to its original size. But before that, let me just resize some splits to have different widths. We can do so by executing increase editor widths command from within command palette. And now that we have different sizes of some splits, to reset all the sizes back to its original size, I'm going to press space W A. And there we go, now we are back to the original sizes of all splits. And with that we are finished defining keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm gonna go back to init.log configuration file and add some commands in front of every set of keyboard shortcuts that can be logically grouped. For example, the first four shortcuts are responsible for navigating between words. I'll specify it in here. Moving on to the next group. This group is mainly used for code navigation. The next set of keyboard shortcuts are mainly responsible for quick search and pick actions. The next shortcuts are used for finding, replacing and refactoring actions. The next group is responsible for line editing and code maintenance in general, applying formatting, organizing imports and so on. Moving on to the next group, this one is mainly used for file and workspace management. And finally, the last set of shortcuts that we have defined in this lesson is responsible for working with multiple windows or splits. And with that, we are finishing this series. Link to the repository with the final in in.lua configuration file will be available in the video description.